Claudia is a physical quick swap sub DPS, and she has a physical resonance blah blah blah. In short, more damage to physical type of weapons. But only Shiro can benefit from it as of now. So why did I say blah blah blah? It's because nobody has decoded yet the exact formula on this game so reading these numbers doesn't mean we know all of it. This will remain a mystery until we get to know the final formula for damage. If you know how to calculate damage, you can help us in the comment down below. I will try to decode the exact formula for damage in this game. You can subscribe to this channel so that you will be updated on when I finally get to know the formula in the future. That's for the intro and this video is all about Claudia. I play for waifu, pull for waifu, waifu first, problems later. So what does she do? She is a quick swap DPS with a fast big PP damage in a short amount of time. The longer she stays in the battlefield, the more you lose your DPS potential. She's not meant to stay in the battle for a very long duration because she only has a limited area of effect attacks. This is if we consider playing her in the bygone phantasm. She has a normal looking basic attack, nothing fancy and other stuffs. I think her strongest attack string is launching them in the air with the hold left click button, the normal attack while in the air and the final hit will hit like a truck. But it has the same problem with King. Doing this long sequence of attack pattern leaves you very vulnerable from the enemy attacks. This is her skill, she will blink and slash 5 times in different enemies. But if there's only one enemy, she will hit it 5 times repeatedly. She will do reduced damage by 20% if she hits the same target. Then after this, there will be a final big PP damage. We can actually cancel the animation of the final hit by simply attacking, dashing, jumping, or switching. But be careful of jump cancel because it might also stop the first 5 hits, which will then stop the final big hit. And this is her discharge, just a simple Beyblade attack with you moving instantly close to your target. And it grants you immunity to debuffs for 5 seconds. Doing a discharge will also apply grievous debuffs. In short, the enemies affected will take more damage. As long as you're constantly doing discharge with physical weapons, the enemy will always take more damage, even from your elemental weapons. And this makes Claudia like a universal support and much better with her first advancement. And talking about her first advancement, if you hit the enemies with your discharge then your skill, I believe you will already have gained 2 stacks of damage buff already. As you read her advancements further, it caters towards a more physical damage buffer so you can stop at advancement 1 for a general support on your team. So I combined everything and compress it all as short as possible for maximum DPS in the shortest amount of time. We always want to have discharge ready for Claudia before using her skill. And when you do her skill, wait for 5 hits to commence first then jump. Then do the aerial normal attacks up to the final sequence and hold normal attack to finish it with a good old slam dunk. But this animation leaves you vulnerable and there's a lot of animation without doing damage. So I always want to cut that down. So here's what it looks like with and without an enemy. This is a very fast multiple hits in one combo and it charges your weapons very fast. But staying for a few more seconds will take a valuable time of your main DPS. The only reason you want to be staying a little longer is when you still haven't charged your weapon for the next discharge. The goal is setting all the charges up before switching to another weapon. This combo generates almost two-thirds of the weapon's energy gauge. So before switching to Claudia, I want to have at least one-third or one-half already charged. So here's some footage of me doing some rotation practice. In Bygone Phantasm, you want something more than just damage. And that is AoE, stun, bleed, slow, freeze, etc. Just doing normal attacks on a single enemy which doesn't apply anything just won't cut it. That's why we rotate our weapons for discharge and skills, etc. But I still don't know how much she fare on PvP. I don't play PvP a lot because all I see there is meh. The hardest combo to do, the hold left mouse button combo. OMG. But if you already have played Claudia in PvP, please let us know in the comments below. 
general build guidelines. Use bailing matrices or any other damage matrices like Sobek. For gold matrices, you can use Shiro or Crow matrix. I recommend Shiro and Crow matrices over Samir because Samir gives 10% damage at max and it always starts with 0 stacks and that gives 6% damage increase only. A 4 piece Shiro and Crow matrix is a much more solid choice. But as of now, we are still very early in the game. We can just use anything right now and of course, her best in slot is Claudia herself. But this is a whale territory and I advise you not to touch these banners. Just go for higher advancement if you want your Claudia to be stronger. For team building, this is my only team because I'm F2P. I use Huma as my main charger. Although Claudia's charge value is 12, I don't see her as a very effective charger. Shiro with her charge value of 6 generates more energy when she uses her skill. But Huma is still my best charger. I will probably post a bygone phantasm showcase sometime in the future. So stay tuned and subscribe for more in-depth guides and showcase in Genshin Impact and Tower of Fantasy. This is the general idea on how to play her and make Maybe there are other techniques here and there that I haven't discovered yet. So is she worth it? If you're playing physical DPS and is planning to go for full physical team, then pull Claudia at least A1. I'll be going full physical in this account so I'm all in to getting her to at least A3. Then if the rumors are true that she will be on the standard banner, then so be it. At least I won't have to worry hoping to get her to A3 in the standard banner.